National Signing Day finally here for Tim Rebo and the Nichols football program. You had a dozen early signees that committed to this program before Christmas. How did that allow your program to really target some impact players in, in January and February? Well, what happens is, you know, the coaches did such a great job and, and built those relationships all, all year. And it, and it paid off. It started in the summer, and those guys wanted to be a part of it. Uh, and then the way we finished the season, we had a couple more commit right before Christmas. Uh, and, and I got to give it, those guys really honored their, their commitment. They stayed with it. Uh, they signed with Nickel State. They know this is a place, uh, it's a good place for them. And uh, it's, it's a program that's on the rise. 26 commitments, 23 from the state of Louisiana. You win three of your last six conference games to close the season. Where was the direct impact in recruiting and the conversations you were having with kids after finishing the year so strong? Yeah, I think they saw that, that the program was going in the right direction. Uh, they they liked the coaching staff, you know, and, and that's another thing. Uh, I have a great bunch of coaches that did a great job recruiting, and they, and they formed those relationships with those guys. Uh, and then and then everybody stayed. You know, there was no turnover in the staff, which is, an, is another big plus. You have to be plugged in to the high school recruiting scene. It can't just be call up a coach, try to make a, an impression when you need a player. This coaching staff, they all have a long history in the River Parishes, in the state of Louisiana. When you look at, at the last few months and how you close strong, how you get 14 kids to commit in the last two months, that's all the relationships that these assistant coaches have been able to create. You know, we, we were talking about it as a staff. You know, uh, last year when we got in here, we really had just a month to recruit, and we thought we put together yeah. a pretty good class. You know, I don't know if you do that nowadays uh, without having this year long relationship that we had that the guys went out but I, I mentioned it earlier I like I like the staff because uh, they cross recruited you know it just wasn't one guy in one area it was the receiver coach helping out the, the, the guy in uh, Baton Rouge you know we were calling kids we were doing that and at the end a lot of kids said that that, that was a big impact on them that they heard from many of our coaches which is a big plus it, it, it's a, a unique philosophy it, it's something that other coaching staffs try to apply but share your, your thought process into having the, the cross connections with coaches that your offensive line coach can go call your defensive backs coach and say hey I've got a guy in my area, right. we need to link you two up. Right, and I think that happens all over, but I don't know if it happens in a, on a consistent basis, and I think that's what we did. That you know, when And you talk about with the quarterback, when you establish that relationship with his recruiting coach, and then you throw in the offensive coordinator and the quarterback coach who formed that bond, and then we had the receiver coach going there talking to the, to the quarterback coach. All of those things make, make a big, you know, you go watch him, and you go see him, and you go watch him practice, and uh, I, I think those kids remember that, and that, that helped out in the long run. You can't wait to get some of these guys on the field. It'll, it'll be here early. I'm, I'm sure just getting that opportunity and especially with, with how intense the interest has been in this program, no better opportunity than now to get spring ball started and, and get some of those position battles underway early in the year. Yeah, we talked about, you know, uh, when, when we met, when the guys came back, you know, the past is the past. Last year's yeah. team, that's over. It's time for us to move forward. So a uh, time for guys to make their own name now. And, uh, and I'll tell you, we got some guys stepping up ready to do that. Great day to be a colonel. Tim Rebo, Nichols Football, and this is Colonel's All Access.